Let's see here. All right, we're coming into the community now. of mixed styles of homes all custom built rolling hills very picturesque it's a private community it's beautiful in the spring in the summer when it's all full of greenery but there's a lot of evergreens too that keep it looking really nice okay and now we're going to make our turn up here onto Horse Creek Run. This is the entry of the street where we're headed up to the court. And now we're coming up on the back side of the house. Very picturesque, very natural, lots of natural area. That's the front yard. Okay, they're moving out today. We're entering into the courthouse, but stop. just ahead of us is, the, is a dead end, another courtyard. In fact, we can go down and check it out. This is the really the end of the community here. There's another street, but then right up here on the hill, you'll see a really nice home here and this is what you see this is the home across from 9416 and as you come up the hill here we're going to turn into the courtyard another cul-de-sac where there again there's what, four other homes, one at the head of the cul-de-sac, and then over here to the right we have 9416. And the, the tenants are moving today. It's moving day. Yep. Okay, we'll take it on the inside now. Okay, I'm in the driveway now, this beautiful home at 9416 Horse Creek Run. Again, there's, like I said, there's, it's in the head of the cul-de-sac and there's a home there. Of course, the moving man is here today. And we're looking out. So they're, it's like they're loading things out of the basement area from down there. There's decking on the side of the house. Take it inside. All right, I'm coming in through the mud hall here, right off the side of the house, looking up out at the garage area and the driveway. There's a service sink here, and this is where the wash and dry goes. This is the laundry room. Okay. And of course, the garage, which has nice storage spaces here, cabinetry built in. It's a two car garage. And looking now into the kitchen area. It's got the Harlequin floor eat-in area here. There's built-in cabinetry. Nice pantry there. The kitchen area, cabinets, new dishwasher, new slide-in range oven, and microwave, and also an additional wall oven. So it's cozy. It's a cozy kitchen. Okay, you're going to hear the movers out here. And we're looking now at the dining room, looking towards the sunroom. 
<laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Okay, the living room's cleaned out. It's amazing. Wet bar. Okay. I'm going to walk across the living room. Wood burning fireplace with a nice, woo, way up. Okay, there's the sunroom. Going through the French doors. Ah, and the stairwell. The catwalk that takes you up to the master suite, as they call it. And this, look at the views. Can you imagine this in the snow, how beautiful it's gonna be? The deck has been recently restained and reinforced all the way around. There's the neighbor's house right there. And that's looking back into the house. Okay. Then there's beautiful French door, lots of natural lighting. Looking towards the front, the catwalk that takes you to the two master suites, which are on the second level. Look at that, lots of natural lighting. Amazing. This is the front door entrance. This is what you see as you're coming around the curve into the cul-de-sac. This walkway will take you around to where the two-car garage is. So we're going back inside. There's a hardwood entry landing that takes you across the front of the living area, okay? So here we have a bedroom here, bedroom number one. Woo! This is where the sun set. He, this was the son's room and he had, what, a queen size bed there. Nice tall poster bed, it, had, it fit just perfectly. And then this is the first floor bathroom that services the two bedrooms and your guest, I'm sure. This bedroom has hardwoods. This bedroom has carpet. All righty. We're going to take it upstairs. Okay. It's a natural railing, open railing that takes you up to the second floor. And look, there's even a window there to keep the natural lighting flowing in. From the front door, back into the kitchen, the wet bar area, and around to the living room. There's cable. They had a flat screen. There's the remote there. I mean, excuse me, the thermostat there for one of the heat units. There's ceiling fans and track lighting in this room in addition to all the natural lighting. Woo wee. Okay, up we go. Okay, I'm on the first landing of stairs so you can kind of see the view from this window. All right, we're gonna take it on up to the next level. Wow. So we're up here on the catwalk. carpet over the hardwoods and this is looking out the front of the house there's the view down over the foyer and with a slight 90 degree turn pow I'm looking down now at the family room okay to the left we have the master suite okay I don't see if I have it. I don't know if I can turn lights on. I'm gonna try. Again, let's see here. Yes. Okay. This is the master suite. It's windows, wood burning fireplace. There's some built in shelving. Here's a little sun porch right off from the master suite. Okay, is this not lovely or what? 
The atrium has a ceiling fan in it. And you have lots of natural views all the way around again. Let you look right down into the sunroom down below. Here's that catwalk that brings you up to the second floor into the master suite. Okay. There's carpet in here. There's a pantry there, a mirror. Here's the built-ins with storage, double sink. Here is the bathroom. Water closet for privacy. So you have a separate shower and jacuzzi jetted tub. That does work. There's tile on the floor and carpet and now a huge walk-in closet. And now here is the secret spot in the back. This is an, uh, an additional space that was used for them as an office. I've seen it used as a Nautilus room. There's two desks and look, this is over the garage. This room is over the garage, so you can look right out at the front of the house from your own little secret hideaway, okay? That's just attic storage, I believe, but I'm looking across. This is a really big space. And there is the laundry chute, okay? So guess what? You raise this up, bam. Throw your laundry right down into the laundry room, okay? There's attic storage there also. Looks like we need to get another rack hanging across there, but that's no problem. Okay. And also, again, there's a skylight here in the bathroom for natural lighting again. It's beautiful. Okay. Ceiling fan and track lighting above. Natural lighting, lots of natural lighting. Okay, we're gonna go across to the other master suite. Okay. This room will accommodate at least a full-size bed. There's some built-in cubbies. There's a Nice size, well there's a closet here. Oh, carpet's thick. <clears throat> this carpet's very thick, I'm not gonna worry about that. But then again, here's a full service bathroom. Really nice, cabinetry, dressing area. And it's nice, toilet, shower, beautifully ornamented with the ceramic tile. And on the floor as well. Okay, so now we got to go down one more to the basement. All right, headed downstairs to the basement. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, this is a full basement. There's some built-in cabinetry. Other little living areas down here, as well as the entrance from the single car garage. So we'll start there. Here's the single car garage. It's big enough to house a car. There's a service sink here, pegboard. The water heater is also out here. See, it's a nice size garage. The retaining wall and the moving Okay, here's the uh, electric heat pumps. And there's access right there to the, to the deck on the lower level even. Okay. And it is, there's a remote also, it's motorized. 
storage areas. So you can definitely get a car and toys in here. And through this area brings you right into the basement. And look, there's patio access here to the decking. There's the pool room. I think this is 12 by 16 is the size of this space. You could put a huge pool table here. The light fixture is already in place, just waiting. Lots of natural lighting with the windows. And look, across the, the size of the, uh, the space is open areas here. There was a built-in bar, wet bar, but that's not there anymore. But anyway, there's still a nice space there to plug a little mini fridge or something in. Okay, this is just space. Okay. There's nice storage area here. I don't know if there's a light on in here. There was, I thought. But anyway, nice big storage area. And guess what? Another bathroom. Okay. All right. There's another bathroom down here with a shower. So it's a full bath, and that's a storage closet there, another storage closet. So you could actually have sleepovers down here and your guests be completely comfortable with their own private bath or it's a good man cave space because look how big it is across here. It's well lit, beautifully painted. This is a painted floor right now, chocolate brown. And then there's access here to the deck, which I'm going to take us out on right now. Okay, you see? You can actually walk around to the front of the house, though I wouldn't try it with all this, uh, these wet leaves, but you see it's natural. Up the hill, round the hill. There's the neighbor next door. You see, this is all natural area here. Rolling hills, beautiful. And look at the size of this deck. Wow! It's lit. And again, like I said, it brings you around to where you can see the front of the house. Okay? So looking back across, this is the deck. There's the upper deck from the family room area. It's all heated and cooled on both levels. All righty. This is 9416 Horse Creek Run in Kernersville, North Carolina.